Hey there internet. Today we're going to be replacing the water pump on my 81 Camaro because if you look at that little hole down there you can see the rust around it and that rust means that water has been coming out of there and water coming out of that hole on the water pump means the water pump has failed. So today we're going to be going through all the steps required to replace this water pump on a small block Chevy. So one of the first things we need to do is we need to get the alternator out of the way because as you see alternator belt hooks up to the water pump pulley and we're going to have some issues if we keep the alternator on. So let's get that removed. All we need to do is loosen this bolt here and that bolt down there and we'll be free to take that alternator off and get it out of the way. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we've got the alternator set over here, you can see I have much better access down to the lower radiator hose. We need to drain the cooling system first because if we don't, we're just going to end up with a big mess. Now I've only got water here, so you can see I've got no drain pan down there. But if you have coolant, please get it in a drain pan because it's very dangerous stuff. You don't want to be dumping that on the ground. Okay, with the cooling system drained, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this belt here. And to do that, we need to take the power steering pump and loosen it. Before I do that, however, I'm going to come over and I'm going to loosen each of the four bolts around this pulley. These ones here. Because if you do that after you take the belt off, the pulley is going to want to spin freely. And you don't want that happening. It's very difficult to break the bolts loose if the pulley is spinning. So I'm going to break those loose. Then I'm going to come over to my power steering pump. And we've got one, two, and then there's a third bolt down there that needs to be undone to loosen that and get that belt off. So I ran out of daylight last night, and I've completed all the steps for removal, but I've kind of backtracked to uh, pick up where I left off. So we've just removed the power steering belt, and the next thing to do is finish loosening these bolts that hold the fan and the pulley on, and then pull those off. So let's remove the fan and the pulley now. The next thing you'll notice I've done is I've removed the alternator brackets. And now we've got full clearance around our water pump, so we can remove four bolts. There are two here, one, two, and then you come around to the other side, and same thing. You've got one here and one kind of tucked underneath there, and that's why we had to remove the power steering pump. And what I did was I just hung it right here, which you might be able to, you might not. Just get it set aside, but remember there are some lines underneath that you don't want to be twisting or pulling on too hard. As long as you can get all four of those water pump mounting bolts out, you're golden. With those four bolts removed, we simply pull the water pump off, set it aside, and now we get to clean up all our mating surfaces for our new gaskets to go on. All this area here, you're going to want to take a razor blade, a wire brush, whatever you use to clean up your mating surfaces prior to putting new gaskets on. Okay, our gasket surfaces are all cleaned up, nice and shiny, pretty, and tidy, etc., etc. I've got one more step before we can do installation, and we come out to the old pump, and we notice on the top side, we've got this plug right here. We're going to need to remove that, install him in the appropriate hole, corresponding hole, on the new pump. So let's go ahead and do that now. I've got my plug in the new pump, and one more step. I went ahead and I bought new water pump studs. This is to uh, put the pulley and the fan back on. Now, I did this because my old ones were starting to gum up, and this fourth one here, I managed to get it out, but I destroyed the threads entirely. So, for five bucks, I picked up a new set of studs. You might want to do the same, because these were stuck in there pretty good for me, and you definitely want to tighten them down in the new one, make sure they're not going to fall out. So, five bucks, I'd say replace them, you know? You're doing the work anyway, why not do it right? And to put the new studs in, or if you're reusing the old ones either way, to get those threaded in there, you can start them by hand, and then I just put a nut on, run the nut all the way down. When it gets to that unthreaded center section, it catches, and then you just go ahead and tighten those down in there. Now that we've got the studs on the new pump, it is time to hang the new pump and get it bolted on there. Make sure you put your gaskets in, and make sure they are facing the correct directions, because, uh, you know, they're a little bit of a funny shape. Make sure you're not putting them in upside down or backwards or what have you. With the water pump bolted in place, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the pulley and the fan back on the front here. The pulley and fan are now in place, so the next thing I'm going to do is take the lower radiator hose, hook it up, and then install the alternator. Alternator is now in place. I'm going to come over and put my power steering pump back on. 
Remember, we've got three bolts for that one. Power steering pump replaced. The last steps would be to put the belts on and tension them to hit those nuts on the pulley one more time because you don't want your fan flying off. And then top off your cooling system, you're good to go. This has been How to Replace a Water Pump with me, Camaro Kid. Thank you guys for watching.